what's up well everybody is good welcome back to my channel this is robo your music in strata sound factory studio i'm going to give you a breakdown of the guitar play in soweto by victor nee that song is awesome i can listen to it all day so i'll play the song um the guitar that was played the intro i break it down and then you can see if you are playing another key how you approach it too so the song is in a flat major but it was in a minor mood, so it starts on the six. That's La, which is F minor. So the progression is six, three, four, and a five. So six, three, four, and a five. So you have six, F minor, three is C minor, seven. And the four is C sharp major seven. Because if this was C sharp major, have and then the five is E flat thirteenth chord. But he just played half of it as T B. Because if you are playing a thirteenth chord, that's when you experience. A flat. Now, the finger picking technique, if you don't know how to use a classical way of playing, it will be difficult. If you want to get the exact notes, because when you listen to the song, it sounds like a guitar was played, but you still hear a bass pattern being played along, which a guitar can't do at the same time. So, two separate instruments, virtual instruments were played. So, I'm going to try and give out the exact way I heard the guitar. So if you're using the finger picking technique, you plug with F, um, the F minor, your middle finger will plug the second string. But the time will be playing, will be controlling the, the fifth, sixth, and fourth string. And then the test string will be played by your first finger, which is called P. The virtual name is Pima. Yeah, so that's the technique. I, P for thumb, I for the first, M for the middle finger, and apex finger. So you have Pima. So for the F sharp, F minor, you have this pattern. Let me bring the camera closer so you have The next chord is the C minor seventh. So you have it this way. Your index finger will play the four, the third string, and then the the thumb will play the fourth string. So you have this. So the thumb will play. The fifth string, the root note, that is C. And then your your index finger will play the third string and the thumb will play the fourth. So you have closely you have this. Combine the six and three, you have
next chord is the fourth, which is C sharp major seven. Yep. Technique. Followed by the five, which was a 13 chord played partially. The full pattern. flat major let's say if we had the key as b flat major that way we will have more room because our six will be here and then you get to our five here so it'll be very easy to play the 13th chord here so in the key b if b flat major our six is g our three is d minor our four is a flat major seven our five is F sharp, which is that. So we have. For now, I hope you liked it. You can like this video, share the links to others, and subscribe to this channel. See you next time. Bye.